Arithmetic Sequence Hello everyone, this is Teacher Astrid for another lesson in Pinoy Math. Today, we will be learning about Arithmetic Sequence. We define sequence as a set of numbers or objects that follow a certain pattern or rule. We also learned that the elements of a sequence are called terms. The first element, called first term, is denoted by a sub 1. The second element is called second term and is denoted by a sub 2, and so on and so forth. For some sequences, some of those patterns may be represented by a general rule or formula in which you will substitute the set of natural numbers to the variable. For example, in the general rule a sub n is equal to 3n plus 2, we substitute n equals 1, n equals 2, and n equals 3 to get the first, second, and third terms respectively. After substituting, we get a sub 1 equals 5, a sub 2 equals 8, and a sub 3 equals 11. Therefore, the sequence defined by the general rule is 5, 8, 11, and so on and so forth. We also learned that if a sequence is finite, it has limited number of terms. And if it is infinite, then it has unlimited elements. An infinite sequence has an ellipsis or three dots at the end. Before we start with our new topic, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more Pinoy Math videos. Our objectives for today are number one, to define arithmetic sequence. Number two, to find the common difference of an arithmetic sequence. Number three, to determine whether a sequence is arithmetic or not. And finally, number four, to list the next few terms of an arithmetic sequence. We will start with an application of an arithmetic sequence. René was advised by his doctor to strengthen his immune system by doing brisk walks every day. On the first day, he was told to start by walking for 10 minutes, 14 minutes on the second day, 18 minutes on the third day, and so on. With the same trend, how many minutes will he allot to walking on the next three days? Upang maintindihan, gumawa tayo ng table para makita ang mga araw at oras ng paglalakad ni Rene. Here we can see that Rene walks 4 minutes longer than the previous day. Sa Tagalog, mas mahaba ng 4 na minuto o nagdadagdag siya ng 4 na minuto kada sumunod na araw ng paglalakad. Sa mga susunod na araw, kung magdadagdag tayo ng 4 minutes uli, ay malalaman natin na siya ay maglalakad ng 22 minutes, 26 minutes on the 5th day, and finally, 30 minutes on the 6th day. The number of minutes he walks every day is also represented by the sequence 10, 14, 18, and so on and so forth. And this is an example of an arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence wherein the next terms are obtained by adding a constant number. The constant number being added is called common difference, denoted as D. Arithmetic sequence ang tawag sa uri ng sequence na kung saan nagdadagdag ka ng parehong number para makuha ang mga sumusunod na terms. Maaaring ang dinadagdag mo ay positive at maaaring ito naman ay negative. 
If the sequence is increasing, then you are adding a common difference that is positive. But if it is decreasing, then the common difference or D is negative. Example number one. Is the finite sequence 5, 8, 11, 14 an arithmetic sequence? To check, get the differences between the terms. Getting the differences, you will see that there is a common difference. What number is that? It is 3. Dahil pare-parehong 3 ang differences sa sequence, ito ay isang arithmetic sequence. Ito rin ang number na idaragdag para makuha ang mga susunod na terms. The sequence is therefore an arithmetic sequence with a common difference of 3. Example number 2. Determine whether 32, 30, 28, 26, and ellipsis is an arithmetic sequence. If it is, find the common difference. Para malaman kung ang sequence ay arithmetic, kunin ang mga differences. To get the differences, subtract the first term from the second term, the second term from the third term, and the third from the fourth, and so on and so forth. Doing so, 30 minus 32 equals negative 2. 28 minus 30 equals negative 2. And finally, 26 minus 28 is also negative 2. Since the differences are equal, then it is an arithmetic sequence with a common difference of negative 2. Take note that the common difference is negative. That is why the sequence is decreasing. Example number 3. What are the next three terms in the sequence 2x, 4x, 6x, and ellipsis? By checking, we can see that there is a common difference between the terms. 4x minus 2x equals 2x, and 6x minus 4x is also 2x. Pare-pareho ang inaad natin, at iyon ay 2x. Sa sequence na ito, iaad natin ang common difference na 2x sa pinakahuling term para makuha ang mga susunod na terms. Kaya, 6x plus 2x equals 8x, 8x plus 2x equals 10x, and 10x plus 2x equals 12x. Therefore, the next terms are 8x, 10x, and 12x. Example number 4. Find the next term in the arithmetic sequence 5 square root of y, 3 square root of y, square root of y, negative square root of y, and negative 3 square root of y. Since it was told that it is an arithmetic sequence, you only need to know the common difference by subtracting the first term from the second term. Doing so, we have d, or common difference, is equal to negative 2 square root of y. Adding negative 2 square root of y to the last term, which is negative 3 square root of y, we get negative 3 square root of y plus negative 2 square root of y is equal to negative 5 square root of y. Therefore, the next term is negative 5 square root of y. Now it is your turn 
to answer the following. Number 1. Which of the following are arithmetic sequences? If your answers are A and D, then you are correct. In letter B, we are multiplying by 3. And in letter C, these are reciprocals of an arithmetic sequence. These reciprocals of arithmetic sequence are called harmonic sequence. In letter A, the common difference is 5. And in letter D, the common difference is negative 10D. Another. In the sequence x, x plus y, x plus 2y, and x plus 3y, what will be the next term? The answer is x plus 4y. We are adding y or the common difference is y. That ends our lesson. I hope you will be with us again on our next videos. Happy learning!